Hello everybody, just a quick video, a quick tip. Um, this is my heated grip of the throttle side of my F800GS and the grip heating is not working. And my um, suspicion is that the heating element inside is broken. I know it is because I have already looked into it. Um, but here's how you can check. See this little, this little connector port in here? You should test with the multimeter if you have um, electrical connection between the two ports. If you have a multimeter, like I have here, and if you connect those, it will beep. The problem is you don't get in here with those two and you can't really see. My solution is just to um, use a little length of cable like this here and remove the isolation on one side and the other side you poke a little hole in here for example you can use like uh, like a pen or a pencil and just poke a little hole in there so there's a hole and then you put one you put this lead over one of the connectors inside so now one connector is covered by the isolation and you can use one end to check for connection for example with one of these things like so and just connect that up to your um, one end of your multimeter and since the um, the connector itself um, is still free you can use the other end to ch check for connection which as you can hear is not working for let's test again so the multimeter itself is working but the connector is not so now you can be quite sure that you have uh, a connection problem inside of here what you can do now is you have to um, remove part of the um, grip element from the throttle body itself so the throttle body is this plastic tube here and um, the rubber grip element is glued onto that you can pull back the element i have already cut the element and then use a sharp knife like this here and then um, the um, the element itself is on a little on a little angle so if you use your knife on a 45 degree angle and just rock up all the time you can cut around the um, the rubber and remove the rubber um, be careful not to cut the cable I can show you how this looks so here you can see this little angle part so you always take your knife and go like that and then you just push down and keep doing that until you can see those two wires which are connected to this little tiny incy bincy um, wire here and that's the heating element and as you can see here the connection is broken now we can recheck if we have just one problem or multiple problems again we take our multimeter and we put one end to the black cable I don't know if it is black for you but it's black here and with the other end we check on this cable and yes we do have a connection so we know that there is no other broken element in here and we just have to fix this and what you do is easy you just solder that back and then um, glue everything back on it I would not glue this part here because if this ever breaks again you will have a problem on um, getting this off again I would just put some glue on um, this edge here and just glue this part of the rubber back to here and then you're fine and then you just reinstall it on your bike and you're done thanks for watching okay i have decided since i have shown you that much i can show you the rest as well um i have now prepared my soldering iron a little length of cable to fix the uh, gap and since I don't have my tweezers ready, I just use this little croco clamp here to hold the wire because it will get hot, I guess. Okay, so we just add some solder to the soldering iron. 
add some solder to the cable and then just solder this to the little incy bincy tiny wire that is already there. It's a little tricky. I have to say I'm not the greatest soldering expert. I think you might be able to tell. Okay, so we now have re-engaged the electrical connection. Turn off the soldering iron. And remove the little clamp. So now this is connected back together and we can again always check your work. Uh, check with um, with a multimeter and the um, yeah the beeping control if this now has electrical connection, which is perfect. Now last check you should do um, is you take your length of cable again where I've salvaged the little wire, put this onto one of the connectors inside and connect this lead here and now we take the other end and check again if we have electrical connection which we should have now and we do I hope let's try again push the cable onto the connector pin and check again with our multimeter yes we do have electrical connection on the plug. This means we have fixed this here. And now the grip heating should be working like a charm again. The last step is to glue everything back together. As I said before, um, I don't think you should put glue here. You just should glue this part over here. I'm using some super glue and this super glue is some kind of gel which makes it far easier to apply onto the um, throttle body. Um, yeah. Now you should put something between here as well because I've cut there which was incorrect. Okay. Um, over there as well and now just roll back this uh, rubber sleeve onto the throttle body Plop. just push everything together and well this should pretty much be all. Just give it some minutes to um, glue everything together. But uh, this should repair the heated grip. And you have just saved yourself 120 bucks. So now, thank you for watching and goodbye.